Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films and the Star Wars Gaming Podcast Cloud City Casino over at StarWarsReport.com. Continuing our look here at the X-Wing 2nd Edition launch products. We've looked at Lando's Millennium Falcon. We've looked at the core set. Now we're looking at some more individual ships. This is the T-65 X-Wing. And just like the one in the core set, the new core set that is, you can do the whole squeeze the back thrusters and you're going to wind up opening or closing the S-foils. But yes, it does have that weird thing where it kind of wobbles back and forth. And when closed, can be misaligned. But we've talked about that already. Inside each package, we now have a quick little expansion pack content breakdown rather than a larger rule book. In this case, we then have for our ship cards for the X-Wing, Wedge Antilles, Biggs Dark Ladder, Thane Kyrell and Garvin Dreis, who are all new to this pack, at least for 2.0. And then returning from the core set, we have Blue Squadron Escort and Red Squadron Veteran. Because these two already exist in the original core set, or the 2.0 core set, we don't have quick build cards for them, but we do have them for Wedge with Biggs and for Thane with Garvin Dreis. Uh, Wedge and Thane are th threat level 3, Biggs and Garvin our threat level 2, at least based on those builds. We have our maneuver dial and our dial ID token, in case you use the big dial protector things. I don't. We have our servo motor S foils with open on one side, closed on the other, just like we had for the ones in the core set. We have our ship tokens. We have Wedge with Red Squadron Veteran on the other side, Biggs with Blue Squadron Escort on the other side, and then Garvin with Thane on the other side. Our upgrade cards here are going to be R2 Astromech, R4 Astromech, which you've seen before, Selfless, and Ion Torpedoes. Notice all the information you'll need there to the right of the main card text. Token-wise, we then have a proof of purchase. We have our ID tokens, which are number seven. We have our lock tokens, number seven also. Again, when you do a lock now, it corresponds to the number on your ship. So you're not going to have one of these next to your ship and one of these next to the ship it's locked on to. It's just going to be one of them next to the ship you're locked on to, identifying your ship that's doing the locking by the seven. Three ion tokens, one disarm token, four charge tokens, uh, deactivated on one side, activated on the other, and two shield tokens. Again, activated on one side, deactivated on the other. So... We basically have ourselves here another X-Wing to add into 2.0, very much like with the first wave of expansions for the original X-Wing, only this time a little more focused towards the story group canon side of things as opposed to Legends, as we'll see with many but not all of these new expansions. And all the stuff that we need to play with 2.0, like the new types of tokens, the larger upgrade cards, the quick build cards, and so forth. So, more than likely, if you're going to be jumping in, as the Rebels for X-Wing 2.0, you're going to want to pick up the X-Wing Expansion Pack.